not over tank i don't get how you have devin haney or shakur stevens over tank and you have both of them over tank Tom Murphy. <laughs> Usyk? what who did he beat what are we doing like who did he beat man how can you have Usyk over Tyson Fury. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is, man. The Lions Den. I appreciate y'all rocking with me, kicking it with me today. Yo, we have a lot of things I want to talk about, man. I was, you know, first of all, we have Shakur Stevenson going against uh, De Los Santos today. Uh, that's tonight, man. It's going to be fire, man. But, you know, in between time, you know, we I, I stumbled upon ESPN's pound for pound boxing list, man. You know what that means. We got a lot to say because, you know, they got a lot of stuff wrong in my opinion, you know. So right now we're going to talk about my opinion. And, but before we get to it, man, let, 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 me, bring it, let me bring it up real quick, man. ESPN's Power for Power Boxing List, man. Here it is right here. And, you know, like before before I get to critiquing, I want to say that I respect a lot of the pundits and a lot of the writers and the people that have a say, you know, have influence on this list, you know, like shout out to the Teddy Atlas, shout out to the, uh, everybody knows he's a Hall of Fame, and, uh, Hall of Fame boxing enthusiast, uh, shout out to Tim Bradley, he's a former boxer, gave us great fights, you know what I'm saying, against Pacquiao, against uh, so many other people, you know, so uh, yeah, I, I really, I, oh, I guess Rules of Provodnikov, that fight was crazy, you know what I'm saying, so uh, shout out to Tim Bradley, uh, he's there, he has an input on this, so does Joe Tessitore, and many others, man, I respect them, um, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, with all that said, I disagree with what they got. You know, I'm talking about what they came to. So let's look at ESPN's uh, power for power list, man. First off, looking at this list, um, like there's notable names missing. Like where's Benavidez, David Benavidez? You know, he could be on here. Just considering some of the people that are on here, you know, we get Errol Spence Jr. I mean, he only lost to Terrence Bud Crawford and Terrence Bud Crawford is number one. So if you lose to the number one pound for pound fighter, are you gonna? Are, do you deserve to be outside the list? That's your only loss. Granny, it looked bad. You got knocked the fuck out, man. I ain't gonna hold you now. I look bad, you know. But it is what it is. It's still only one loss, you know. Sam, notably, also where's Boots Ennis? Teddy Atlas is very high on him. Everybody seems to be high on him. I don't think he belongs on the list, but because I don't think he's proven himself yet. But you know, people are talking. He just, he just, he just acquired a championship right now because they. Uh, made uh that they, they removed it from uh terrence crawford's or and they gave it a boots in this not saying he don't deserve it but he has it now so maybe he should be on the list i don't know a uh, teofimo lopez uh you know there's so many people on here. you can even put loma on here if you want to i don't think so again because he did lose devaney even though i thought he won i don't think he should be on here but you could you know what about emmanuel navarrete <laughs> That dude's a beast, you know what I'm saying? I know we don't, we're not really too big on the smaller guys, especially in America, but Emmanuel Navarrete is a beast, man. So, like, there's a lot of people missing on this list, man. So, I think you can argue a lot of the people I just named right now, especially David Benavidez over quite a few people on this list. But, you know, anyway, we go going to get right to this list, man. Let's discuss it. Number one, man, I mean, they have Terrence Bud Crawford. How can you argue that? If you don't have Terrence Bud Crawford Another in my opinion as number one, I won't even pay attention to your list at, at this very moment. You know, Terrence Bud Crawford, we saw what he did to Errol Spence. Granny, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Big Salute to Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford for making the fight happen, number one. But number two, shout out to Errol Spence. He's a warrior, man. I know he lost. It looked bad. He lost in emphatic fashion. Um devastating fashion however he made no excuses now we know if anybody could have had the excuse it would it, it would have been aerospace he came off the uh car, car accidents you know what i'm saying the, the layoffs and and the fact that he couldn't really make weight wait he wanted to move up but he says he's gonna fight terrence crawford before he does that so big salute to him not making any excuses and he lets those like us like me, you know, the fans and, and the pundits and the writers make the excuses for him, man. Shout out to him. He didn't take nothing away from Bud. Uh, so, yeah, so Bud should be number one. Next up, we have NOA. NOA, definitely what he did to uh, Fulton. You know, uh, we weren't expecting that. That was another uh, convincing win. So, anyway, I think he should be number two. I think they got that right. So, we're looking good right now, ESPN. Until we get to three. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander Usyk, man. Now, before y'all jump on my head top, man. Usyk? Who did he beat? What are we doing? Like, who did he beat, man? How can you have Usyk over Tyson Fury? Tyson Fury's the champ. 
Granted, Tyson Fury might not even be long on the list the way he the way he just showed up against Ngannou, but nevertheless, he still won. Whether you agree with it or not, that's what these pound for pound lists are for, right? We're, we're about for who about who won, body of work that they put in, and their resume. So Tyson Fury is undefeated, the champion that Usyk is trying to fight. He wants to fight, and they're going to fight. How can he be above Tyson Fury? Because he beat Anthony Joshua, the same Anthony Joshua that lost to uh, what was what's my boy name? Uh, I can't think of his name right now. You know who I'm talking about. But, 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 but little chubby buddy, you know what I'm talking about. I can't, well, I can't think of his name. His name, his name, his name is eluding me right now, man. Hispanic dude, man. Why the heck I can't think of his name? But anyway, he, Anthony Joshua lost to him. Granted, he avenges his loss. Um, what else, man? Uh, Anthony, jo who was he? So he beat Anthony Joshua. He beat what? Derek Chisora, an uh, old Derek Chisora. He beat a uh, uh, Bellu, Tony Bellu. Like, what are we doing? Like, he just fought a bunch of Englishmen, man. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> and uh like I mean his last fight was against Daniel Dubois, but once again, Du Bois, Dubois, have you all pronounced it? Another Englishman. Not not knocking him, but it's like, bro, like they're very I always say a lot of these Englishmen, man, they're a lot they're very sheltered, man. They just fight each other. Like even with Tyson Fury, which we're gonna get into later, he's fought. A lot of his wins come against the same three people. We'll get into that later, man. But I don't get how you can have him over Canelo Alvarez. How in the freak can you have Usyk over Tyson Fury and over Canelo Alvarez? That is, that is, that is, that my mind is blown, man. So they got, anyway, let's keep, let's keep it going. We're going to make a quick video right now. We're going to talk about it, discuss it. Usyk over Canelo. That's crazy. So we got number four, obviously coming in is Canelo. We got number five, uh, which I believe Canelo is too low. I think he's, I think he's arguably number two pound for pound. You know, I, I, I'm okay with having him in no way, in no way above him. But Canelo's that dude, man. He only, he only recent, his only recent loss was the person behind him, Dimitri Bivol, and he was moving up. You know, my boy is ambitious. That's why he's so great because he's ambitious. He takes chances and he takes risks. And, you know, and he just, he just came down and uh, came back down to, you know, right, someone argue his right for weight and he demolished Charlo, man. So, like, what are we doing? I wasn't in the competition. So, number four is to me is crazy. Canelo outside top three to me is asinine. Um, but then we got next coming up we have Dimitri Bivol as number five I'm okay with that um but again like granted Bivol looks good when he wins but I mean he has to he has to have more body of work in my opinion he, he got he lucked up and got Canelo Alvarez he was too big for him so but he still gets credit because Canelo Alvarez is that guy and we expect Canelo to overcome so I'm cool with Bivol being number five number six Archer better be what are we doing <laughs> What? Who again? Who has he fought? You know, like better be. I want better be than Bivol to fight. They need to fight. But you know, better be once again kind of similar to Bivol. He looks good when he wins. He looks convincing when he wins. You know, it looks like he looks like a younger Golovkin. Uh, I can't say younger because Golovkin started boxing when he was uh, older. But you know what I'm saying? Like early stages of Golovkin, he was just demolishing people. So he looks good. But again, who has he fought? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really understand. I don't understand that. You know, I don't understand how he's number six. You know, in my opinion, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, and Javante Davis should be over Usyk, Bivol. Oh, 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 Bivol, okay. But but Better Beef and Usyk, they should definitely be over those two. What, like, am, am I tripping? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> what, what are we doing? So let's 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 get let's get right over to it, man. Now Haney, this is the part I know it's gonna be. I know if y'all watch y'all tune in with some of my other videos, man, this is gonna be controversial. But hear me out. I think they got Devin Haney right. Even if he's not in the right position, I I believe that they got him right being over Shakur Stevenson, not over Tank. I don't get how you have Devin Haney or Shakur Stevenson over Tank, and you have both of them over Tank. Seven being Devin Haney, eight being Shakur Stevenson, nine being Javante Davis. What are we doing now? Granted, I do think that they got this part right. I think Devin Haney should be over Shakur Stevenson. Now, this is the caveat. Let me let me speak on this. Devin Haney belongs over Shakur Stevenson off a of resume and credentials alone. Not off a of talent like Shakur Stevenson. I want, I, I, in my mind, he's over Devin Haney because I do think Devin Haney is ducking Shakur Stevenson. He offered him, he lowballed him in that pot. I mean, I mean, with, with their purse. You go check out, check out my other video. How I, I broke that down. Shakur Stevenson became the mandatory, and he still found an excuse by moving up and fighting pro grades to to avoid Shakur Stevenson. I don't think he really wants to fight. So I don't, and I don't think he beats Shakur Stevenson. I don't think he beats Tank Davis. But off a of resume alone, man. I mean, Devin Haney, he has a better resume. Like, Shakur Stevenson, as much as I love him, he, he's kind of like a uh, better be even Bivol, man. When he, 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 no, no, it's, it's no fault of his own. People don't want to fight him, and he hasn't really gotten the fights. But when he does fight, like against Yoshino, he looks great. You know, he looks fantastic, looks phenomenal. That's why we think that he's, you know, he, his name is Sugar. Shakur Sugar Stevenson. He, he, he adopted that moniker. We bestowed that upon him because that's how nice the young man is. 
but it doesn't change the fact that Haney has fought Lomachenko. I think Lomachenko won, but on paper, it was a close fight and Haney won. So it is what it is. He fought Cambosas. He fought Gamboa. You know what I'm saying? I don't think the average person could even tell me who Shakur Stevenson has fought. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I know he's about to fight uh, De Los Santos tonight, and we're going to see. And even if he wins, it might make me revive. No. Uh, even if he beats De Los Santos, I'm still not going to revise this because, once again, Haney's resume just looks better, man. It just looks better. So it is It is what it is, you know? So um, so I think that they got Devin Haney being above Shakur Stevenson, right? I think they got Javante Davis being below him. Very wrong, man. And sometimes, you know, with Shakur, you know, they have a little feud going on, like a little triangle. Um, some days I think Shakur Stevenson will beat Tank Davis. We're going to switch it up to Shakur and Tank. Some days I think Tank will beat Shakur. Sometimes I think Shakur will beat Tank. So imagine what, when I wake up. But I, I, I think that once I get off body of work, man, Tank has also beat um, Leo Santa Cruz. Tank has also beat, um, granted, you know, the, the, the consensus was that Leo Santa Cruz was bit off more than he could choose. He was a smaller guy and he looked smaller. And I love Leo Santa Cruz, one of my favorite fighters, actually. Um, but he, he, just, he just looked like a smaller dude. And his style was just just catered to uh to Javante Davis you know Leo said the crew's gonna come forward like this and he's gonna try to be a warrior and muscle you down and you're not doing that to Javante Davis so it was perfect you saw how he got dismantled in that fight um but still he still has Leo Santa Cruz on his resume he still has Gamboa on his resume he, Raleigh Romero Isaac Cruz in fact be, let's be honest man I'm gonna be real with you man <laughs> I know I'm jumping around but does Haney beat Raleigh Romero? And now you want to say, oh, Raleigh Romero is bigger. But yeah, these are opponents that Tank Davis has fought. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to say that Haney is above Javante Davis. We talk about the fighting. Does he? We go, we know we're going we gonna to get to that later. But does he beat Raleigh Romero? Does he beat Isaac Cruz? I don't think so. But uh, yeah, so I, I think um, I think I think is I think this is Devin Haney being above Shakur is right. But I think Javante Davis should be above uh Devin Haney and Shakur by P. But nevertheless, but we got Devin Haney coming in at seven, Shakur coming in at eight, Javante Davis coming in at nine. And um, you know, uh we you know I do want to talk. I can't I can't pass this up without talking about Tim Bradley, man. Tim Bradley, who I love once again, I love as a commentator, boxing great in himself uh, a Hall of Famer and Hall of Fame boxing career in my opinion. Um, you know, uh he said that he believes Teofimo Lopez, Shakur Stevens said that Devin Haney beat <laughs> beat Tank Davis. I was just like, yo, man, I respect you, but you wallet. How? How can you say that? Like I said, I don't think Devin Haney beats Isaac Cruz or R Rolly Romero. Now, if you want to say Shakur Stevenson, I'm a, I'm cool with that. With Tank B and even Teofimo Lopez. Maybe he beats maybe he beats Javante Davis. You know what I'm saying? But definitively, to say that definitively, I don't think so, man. Like, Teofimo Lopez has to show me that he can beat Javante Tank Davis. I think that'd be a great fight. I don't know who would win. I will lead towards Tank. Shakur Stevens said, Tank, I don't know, man. So, you know, say today I feel like Tank. Yesterday I, I felt like Shakur. Tomorrow I might feel like Shakur again. Or I might feel like Tank. It's like a toss up to me. But Devin Haney loses to Teofimo. He loses to Shakur. He loses to Tank. He loses to all of them, man. That's why, you know, but and that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's what we talk about right now. Um, but like I said, undoubtedly, Devin Haney, Shakur Stevens, Javante Davis, no matter what order you put them in, they should all be above you, sick, in my opinion. So, how can you sick be number three and then David Haney, Shakur, and Javante Davis come in at seven, eight, and nine? And then, like, Tyson Fury, he's number 10 to end up to end off ESPN's pound for pound list. How? <laughs> like, how is he again? Another one, how is he below you, sick? And, like I said, he, he might not need the way he, the way he brought in that shitty performance against Nganu. His ass might not even be need to, need to be on any boxing list. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the boxing hit list. We need to go get him as boxing collective because he was wilding. But um, yeah, man. So I just I just think that you know I have a rearranged list, man. I think I think this is this is kind of crazy, man. In my opinion, I just feel like this is just they're just kind of out of touch. Um, a lot of this is just names and you know what 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 we want to be, not really what it is, in my opinion. So my rearranged list right here would be Bud would stay number one. In a way, we stay number two. Like I said, I'm not include. I know I mentioned honorable mentions, uh, uh, Benavidez, Spence, but we're not gonna talk about the gentlemen that were left off of this. We talk about strictly on this list. We're gonna rearrange this list. So let's get right to it, man. I got Bud number one, in a way number two. That's what they got right there, and I think that's right. Number three, I have Cinnamon. You know what I'm saying? Canelo Alvarez. For those of you who don't know that Canelo translates to Cinnamon to, to Cinnamon from Spanish to English. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna learn you something. I am a doctor. Uh, I got number four. Uh, number four, Tank Javante Davis. I got number five, Bivol. So I. Bivol Bivol, they got right. It's the only that we I agree with Bud in a way and Bivol so far. Bivol number five. Like I said, I think he should be up here, even though he has a fart similar to similar to Better Beeve and and uh and Usyk. He doesn't really have a resume like that. But that Canelo is outstanding, and even though he was the bigger man, 
we still thought that Canelo had a chance because Canelo is so great. We believed that he would overcome. He was he fell short. And Bivol, I can't take the credit away from him for beating Canelo because a lot of people have failed. You know what I'm saying? So Canelo is ambitious and he brought off a little more than he could chew and Bivol put him in his place. You know, he just looked like the bigger man. So uh, the bigger, stronger, more formidable man in that weight class. So I got to give it to him at number five. You know, he did beat him. That's a Hall of Famer. Canelo is a Hall of Famer and he got him on his on his resume and, and, and he's still in his prime too. All right, number so number six. I got Devin Haney, as I discussed. Number seven, I have Shakur uh, Stevenson, Sugar Shakur. And number, uh, uh, no worry, at number eight, I have Usyk, you know. Um, I th that's where I think he belongs. I have him over Bitter Beef, who's number nine. And then, like I said, Fury is number 10. They got Fury right. You know what I'm saying? I almost removed him off the list and put somebody else. But we're going to go with a list. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I can't, but realistically, man, I know, I know I'm talking. I'm talking, talking that trash. But realistically, like I said, I really can't put uh, Usyk or better be over Fury, man. I, I I can't do that, man. No matter how bad he looked against Nganu, he's still the champion and he still won. And you have to factor that in, man. And I just I just feel like he looked very suspicious. Like we said, like you know what I'm saying. Now, granted, Fury is a beast, and other people say, oh, he's a he's a he's a great Hall of Fame boxer. I even hear people say that he's the greatest heavyweight. He's definitely a Hall of Fame boxer, but the greatest heavyweight? No, Tyson Fury is not the greatest heavyweight. Now, granted, he's beaten Wilder, but what do people say about Wilder? Wilder got into boxing late. But his athleticism is so great that it made him overcome and his power is so, it, it, it's, just, it's just so strong and so much and so overwhelming to opponents that he overcomes. But Tyson Fury, I feel in my opinion, just has Deontay Wilder's number. And I say this all the time, in my opinion, man, I say this all the time. These Englishmen, pr particularly from England, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, these Englishmen are sheltered, man. Anthony Joshua included, sheltered. Tyson Fury, sheltered. Like, Tyson Fury has fought Wilder three times, had a draw and beat him twice. Yes, he's undefeated, but three of his wins have come off of Deontay Wilder. He fought Derek Chisora. Guess how many times he fought Derek Chisora? Three times again. And guess where Derek Chisora is from? England. So that's six wins off of two people. Like, what are we doing? But wait, there's more. Oh, wait, what about John McDermott? Does anybody know McJar John McDermott? No, guess who knows him? Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury has fought him twice. That's eight victories off the backs of three people. Oh That's crazy, bro. <laughs> like, like, bro, and guess where John McDermott's from? Bumba Clyde Britain. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So it's like... Man, I like Tyson Fury. I'm not taking away anything. You can only beat the people that are in front of you. He did beat Klitschko. An older Klitschko. He did beat Klitschko. And I think Tyson Fury is very capable. He's a very capable heavyweight champion. A dope heavyweight champion. I love Tyson Fury. But to say that he's a great... he He's one of... Sorry, he, he is great. To say that he's the best heavyweight of this... Or, or, or one, of the, one of the best heavyweights... Uh, excuse me. Um... Do we forget about uh, his countryman, um, the Jamaican Badman, Rasta, the Lion, Lennox, the Lion, Lewis? He's, not, he's the best out of England. So if you're not even the best out of England, how can you be the best heavyweight of all time? Of course, we're going to talk about Ali. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about Frazier Foreman, Tyson, that he was who he was named after, Mike Tyson. Like, come on, man. So there's so many people. You know, Evander Holyfield. Like I said, man, I just think that uh, the last real heavyweight champion out of England that that was bona fide great is Lennox the Lion Lewis, man. So like, I just I just feel like he fought everybody. Rotman, he fought Tyson, he fought everybody, man, and he he wasn't undefeated. But he's one of the few people that has beaten everybody that he stepped into the ring, ring with. Meaning that Lennox Lewis, everybody he's fought, even if he lost to him, he went back and avenged those losses like he did with Haseem Rahman. So Lennox Lewis has beaten everybody he shared a ring with professionally in his boxing career. So I think Lennox Lewis, he's one of my favorite, of course. You know what I'm saying? Jamaican, Badman, out of, out of you know, Cana uh, you know C Canadian, English, Jamaican, Badman. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, shout out to him, man. But um, so... I, I think that uh, Tyson Fury, like I said, I would remove him off the list. I have him number 10. But realistically speaking, like I said, he did beat Ngannou even though he looked bad. And shout out to and not, not take away anything from Tyson uh, from Ngannou. Ngannou looked great. He looked phenomenal, man. Shout out to him because Ngannou def definitely held it down. He surprised me. So uh, I got to give kudos to uh, uh, Francis Ngannou, man. Big salute. But let's get to my refined list, man. Now, this is my list right here. Uh, you see ESPN's list. This is Doc's pound for pound list, man. This is my refined and final list, man. First off, first and foremost, number one, we got Bud coming, Bud Crawford coming in number one. Like I said, I have Inoue number two. Uh, I'm cool with that. They got that right in my opinion. Inoue, yes, sir. I mean, I mean, sorry, Inoue. Cinnamon, 
You know what I'm saying? Those are Saul Canelo Alvarez coming in at number three, man. How could you not have him on? Have him? Outside? How could you have him out of top three right now? You know what I'm saying? I could even argue that he, he's number two. But I think Terrence Crawford, number one. In a way, number two. Cinnamon, number three. We got Tank Davis coming in at number four. Javante Tank Davis. I got Dimitri Bivol, who I think they had correctly, coming in at number five. Uh, Devin Haney coming in at number six. You know what I'm saying? Then we got Shakur Sugar Stevenson at number seven. I got Tyson Fury at number eight because, like I said, Tyson Fury is still the champion. I don't care how bad he looked. He still won. Um, I don't care. I, it, to me, it's just it's just asinine and preposterous and blasphemous how you can have Usyk over all those other people on that list, especially over Fury, who he's challenging to get the title from. What? <laughs> and nobody on Usyk's resume compares to Fury's resume, even though I said that he only fought three, he, he only fought four people in his whole career. You know, I'm just exaggerating, but he still fought Deontay Wilder. Usyk has not. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So you, you know, so uh, I just don't think he fought Klitschko. Usyk has not. You know, so uh, the only person that Usyk really fought that I'm gonna give him credit for a lot of credit for is Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua really that that is minimal credit that I can give because Anthony Joshua pulled the Devin Haney. He ducked. Uh, not only did he duck De- Deontay Wilder, not only did he duck Tyson Fury, he also ducked uh, Luis Ortiz. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, what what, what are we doing, man? So uh, yeah, I don't I don't think that um, that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see how you can have Usyk over Fury, man. I don't, I don't get that. And then, so then I have Usyk coming in at number nine, and then to round it off, I have number ten coming in at better, uh, coming in with better beef at number ten to find to uh, round it off, man. So I, I think like with this, to me, this is a better pound for pound list. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I know y'all gonna be on my head top, but I really think I justified every, every, everybody that I have in every single placement, man. So uh, yeah, man. I, 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 what I really thought was funny, I want to go back and touch on is the fact that. Uh, that uh <laughs> Tim Bradley, I don't get how he had uh how he had Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney, and Shakur Stevenson beating um beating beating uh Tank Davis. Like I I don't like to say that so definitively is crazy. Like even the Shakur you can make an argument for, you can make an argument for uh uh Teofimo Lopez but Devin Haney that to me that's crazy he'll have to prove it man but so yeah I definitely disagree with uh Tim Bradley but yeah I just I just let's look at Devin Haney's resume you know Devin Haney is be like I say he beat Lobachenko even though I think he lost he still won he beat Cambosas he beat uh Gamboa even Jorge Linares you know even Jorge Linares off the top of my head um, you know, so Shakur Stevenson hasn't beaten anybody like that. And then Javante Davis, of course, he beat, like I said, Leo Santa Cruz. Uh, he's beaten, uh, even Hector Garcia was a good match. Um, uh, I'm not going to talk about Ryan Garcia, but he still beat him. You know, I think Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney will be a good matchup. Uh, Isaac Cruz, Raleigh Romero, you know, these are just some of the people that Devin Haney has beaten that I think Raleigh Romero and I think Isaac Cruz beats Devin Haney. Now, I think Shakur Stevenson will have a good matchup with them. Uh, it, it, it was uh, it was rumored that uh, Isaac Cruz didn't want to fight Shakur Stevenson. So we could say that Shakur Stevenson would probably beat him too. But I think it'll be a good matchup. So, um, But to say that Devin Haney over Tate Davis, I think that's kind of... Um, I th- I th- I, in my opinion, I think that's kind of crazy, man. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. I'll see it right here, as always, at the ticker, man. Send your, send your comments. Uh, if you want to email me anything particular about the show, you know, you want to critique me, critique the show, applaud the show, whatever you want to do, send it to the engineers to the streets at gmail.com. I really appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? I'll get right back to you, man. Let me know in the comments of my tripping. Let me know am I crazy. And oh, uh, yeah, but but tonight we do have Shakur Stevenson going against De La Santos, man. I think De La Santos is going to be very game. He's a game. He seems like a game fighter. He doesn't seem like he's afraid. Um, but, you know, he could be, he could be, he could be put on a stale face. He might really be shaking in his boots. I don't know, but uh, I think he has a chance, man. The fact that he's game and he's he's a deep, he's a big puncher, uh, a good puncher. So um, I expect it to be interesting. But I do anticipate Shakur Stevenson to get him up out of there, man. I say I'm looking for like a knife round stoppage, man. Knife round stoppage in favor of Shakur, man. Y'all let me know, and if he wins. I'm pretty much gonna keep my list the same because I still think you know De La Santos not a big enough day, man. And uh, yeah, man. But I'm, oh, Andy Ruiz Jr. Andy Ruiz Jr. is the guy's name who Anthony Joshua lost to, and he came back in the Avengers lost. I don't know why I couldn't think of his name, man. Shout out to Andy Ruiz. You know, yeah, but that was an upset for Anthony Joshua. He he fought him to try to avoid Deontay Wilder, Lewis Ortiz, and Tyson Fury. So uh, let me know what y'all think about my list, man. Doc's power for power list. We got Bud in the way. Uh, Canelo, we got Tank, we got Bivol number five, we got Haney number six, Shakur number seven, Fury number eight, nine, Usyk, and ten to, uh, to end it and finish it off with Better Beaver number ten, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. We out. Don't forget to like the video. God bless. Peace. Go check out the YouTube. Consider being a YouTube member because I'm going to be dropping the full episode, but it's only going to be accessible to YouTube members. 
and those that are on the Patreon. So you can check in the video in the, in the description of the video. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man, think about subscribing. Help your boy out, man. Show your boy some love. You appreciate the episodes and stuff like that. Also, hit us up on the email engineers to the streets at gmail.com with all your comments, and we'll definitely uh, address those in the next episode. I'll be happy to, man. With all your critiques, things that you agree with, things that you disagree with. Yeah. So from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze, but we're Florida. Boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.